Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our third section of Getting Started with RedCap. This short video will demonstrate how to add users and collaborators to your RedCap project. So as mentioned in a previous video, to create a user account, you'll need to log into RedCap at least once. And once you verify your LinkedIn account, you'll be able to log into RedCap and start creating projects. This also means that your information will go into the RedCap database of users and others can add you to projects using your name or Kerberos ID. And that's really what we're going to be what we are going to be talking about today is adding users. So under applications, we have user rights. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into user rights. And just a few notes, um, user rights allows you to add collaborators, but it also allows you to set limits on who has access to what information in REDCap. And the settings are a great way to ensure that data is protected and validity is maintained. So one of the great features in REDCap is the ability to limit access to various data features, such as editing, exporting, or locking records in accordance with HIPAA privacy rules. Um, user rights can be set according to what is considered the minimum necessary standard, which really means that you can limit access to data and data privileges according to the minimum necessary um, for an individual to complete their assigned task or their role on a particular project. So it's really helpful to keep this in mind when you're setting user rights. So in REDCap, there are actually two main ways to add a user to a project. The first one is to add a new user, and then add a custom right for that person. The second way is to create a role and then assign a person a particular role. Um, so if you, you know, you may have several people in an assigned role, such as, such as a data entry person, in that case, it may be helpful to add a role, set those user rights, and then assign people to that role as necessary. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and start with the first option, and that is to add a new user um, and set custom rights. So I want to set my colleague Fred Lapola, um, and I want to give him access to my project. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing his name. We can see that it does come up, um, and it is highlighted, um, and I see his full name as well as his Kerberos ID, and I can search on both of those pieces of information. So that is him. I'm going to go ahead and add him with custom rights. So the first thing that we see are basic privileges on the left-hand side, and we can set an expiration date um, for the, the access to this project. So it's at some point in time, um, I, can, I can set those, that access to expire. Um, I can also have the highest level privileges, so I can set project design and setup. So this means that um, this person will be able to add and edit questions as necessary and change some of the settings um, for the project itself. We also have user rights, and this means that the user will have the ability to assign and change rights for other users on the project. Um, we also have other privileges, such as using the calendar, add editing, and organizing reports, stats and charts, and so on and so forth. And as I mentioned, it's really helpful to kind of think through a person's role and just, you know, assign um, access as necessary. Um, something else that I want to mention that is important is creating records, renaming records, or deleting records. Um, by default, we don't have the ability to delete a record, um, even as the project creator, um, you have to go into user rights um, and click this if you want to delete a particular record. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that unchecked. Um, so in addition to basic privileges, we also have privileges for viewing and exporting data. Um, and the first one is data viewing rights. So will this person have access to viewing all of the data that has been collected? I mean, we can we can set it as view and edit, as well as read only or no access to the data. So this is just about viewing, um, not about, about exporting. Um, for exporting, it is this section, which means that they would be able to export the data outside of REDCap um, in a variety of formats. So you can you can export it as um, a, you know an Excel spreadsheet, um, as well as a, a few other types um, file types. Um, for data exporting. Um, so we can say that this person have ac has access, export access to the full data set or um, for that export to remove all of the identifiers. So when we're building a form, 
we can set certain fields to be an identifier and kind of flag it as such. And these would be removed when we export our data. We also have de-identified data or no access to data export. Um, the no access doesn't have any bearing on data viewing. So just keep that in mind. So with this case, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel, but if I wanted to add Fred, I can go ahead and, and click add users. I will actually add him to a user role. Um, so say, so the first way we can add somebody is to add them with custom rights. So that's what we just went over, or we can create a role. And there's a variety of roles that you can create, such as a, a principal investigator, project administrator, data entry person, data monitor, statistician, so on and so forth. So you can create as many roles as necessary for your project. In this case, let's say I wanted to add a data entry person. I can go ahead and create that role and I can set those parameters. So let's say I would want them to have design privileges um, and the ability to rename, uh, rename records um, and they can export the data, but I want to have them export just the identify data. And then I can create this role. So now that role has been created, I can go ahead and add Fred to this particular role as a data entry person. And then I can go ahead and assign and they will get an email that they have been added to this project. So that is the two main ways to add a collaborator um, is to add them um, with custom rights or, you know, it may be helpful to create a role and then assign a person that role.